when we first see drew they said that drew got on this damn michael jackson jacket earlier today i ain't gonna lie when i was at work i watched the whole 20 minute uh we are the world rehearsal where they were trying to record the song we are the world we are the children we are the one in the mega brighter day so keep on giving there's a choice we're making we're saving our own lives that's the jacket drew got on so don carter's like let me introduce you to some people drew come up here with the 1991 michael jackson Goddamn rhinestone jacket. The bomber jacket on. Don Carr like, all right, here goes some of my guys. You're going to be running. What did he say? The square? Uh, the square? I forgot what it was called. He's like, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be working, and they're going to work for you. You're going to take over for Zion. You're going to make sure that the numbers are good. You're going to make sure that the women look good. You're going to make sure that the fights are legit. We putting you in charge, Drew. We see the potential, and now it's time. You look like a young Don Carter. You're reincarnated. You are now Don Carter's son. So we're going to put you in charge. These are the three people that are going to be answering to you. So Drew's like, all right, cool. I can get jiggy with this. This is what I've been fucking with. I've been trying to tell y'all I'm prepared to be that nigga in charge. H-N-I-C, head nigga in charge. Or if you listening to an old mystical song, head down, push it on the headstand, don't, don't, don't. And then Ludacris made the remix. Head down. Drew is the big bad wolf now. So Drew, he chilling at the spot. He even telling, he even hitting up Don Carter. Hey, Don, man, I'm hearing that. There's some shit going down. So over at the damn club, we know that there's fights going on. They ain't here. They getting it in. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, 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 I got $10. I got $10 on the nigga with the shirt off. Pause. Look like he going to win. Oh, shit. He got choked out and lost $10. I'm not paying. I'm about to run up out of here. Ain't no guns in here either. I'm about to run up out of here. Look at the ladies in here betting too. You know, ain't nothing. I'm I'm be honest with y'all. I know sometimes y'all be saying that Mo is bougie. No, 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 no. Give me a project chick. Give me a hood rat, uh, one that don't give a ooh, and say she, mm, mm, mm. you know what I'm saying? My mama sent me by my grandma, my grandma flipped out. She said we ain't gonna have no evil in this house, so I rolled out, scoped me an ounce and sold out. Then I fucked up and started living off in this old house. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't get it confused. I never forget where I came from. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like a chick that know what's going on in the hood. But Kane shows up. Drew over here drinking. What up, Kane? What's going on, nigga? You see how I'm living? I'm living large and in charge, nigga. What you on? Working for no one? Sound like some broke nigga shit over there. So Kane come over like, what's up, man? You trying to be me, huh? Now, the competition, 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 the competition between these two, oh, it's starting to pick up. Now, I made a video where I said that it's going to go down between Kane and Drew. And now we're seeing them actually argue about the streets because Drew is working for Don Carter, the police. Kane is working with Noma, part of the streets. And what do we know about the police in the streets? They clash. It's like it's like oil and water. They don't mix. One's on top of the other pause but somebody's got to be on top and someone's got to be on bottom pause to all of that but these two are brothers so we don't even think of it like that but kane is like you think you me huh drew's like nigga i'm running a real organization i got real business and if working with don carter is how i'm gonna get this shit then fuck it so be it sometimes you gotta pop out and do shit nobody else want to do and kane's like man you fucking with police man that's fucked up like man you fucking with noma man she got you whipped nigga you gonna always be her bitch he's like oh so that's, that's what you're saying huh drew said yeah that is what i'm saying won't you come back to this motherfucking warehouse sometime huh show you how i'm living so kane was low-key a little hurt like damn man he is flexing on me i've been talking about marrying noma but noma ain't gave me no property or nothing 
Noma ain't gave Kane no property. She ain't gave him no money. All she did was take him to get a wardrobe. You can take me to H&M and I can get a wardrobe. Matter of fact, don't take me to H&M. Take me to Zara. You take me to Zara, you give me 500. Oh, shit, I'm about to come out that motherfucker like a motherfucking winner. Matter of fact, I'm going to Zara tomorrow. I'm going to drop about 300 in there and give me a couple fits. But yeah, that's all Kane's got. He got a little bit of loving, a wardrobe, but he ain't got no property. He ain't got no assets. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no new whip. Being with Noma really hasn't upgraded Kane's life. Drew is taking over a whole organization. So Drew is like, yeah, you still up on the Noma, but look what I got. Come back to the warehouse. What up, Pabana? So that, that's a good thing for Drew. Drew's like, I done bossed up a little bit. The only problem is when you boss up too fast, Drew shows up the next day. And they talk, my man, I ain't going to lie to you. They just sold the warehouse. He's like, sold the warehouse to who? Like, shit, the fuck if I know. And they just sold the warehouse. They left you a letter. I'm going to read it in a minute, Talia. Me and wifey decided we liked the building. Love Kane. So Kane bought the damn building. Him and motherfucking Noma. It's like, God, Lee, ain't that, ain't that about a bitch? What the this nigga, but how could they buy the building if the building wasn't for sale? But I guess Zion didn't own it. It was just like an abandoned building that they were using. You see, this is what they call nigga shit. Zion didn't even own the building. It was just an abandoned building that they were using, and Kane was able to buy it. That's some wild shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, Ja'Cory, I'm just talking about in general. I'm talking about like, you, you know what I'm saying? He got a wardrobe. I'm like, man, you give me 500. I can go I can go make me a wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? I get fly without the designer. I mean, I, I got a couple of designer pieces, but I don't really wear that shit. Whenever I buy clothes, I buy clothes for like that specific time, man. Like my good shit, I probably wear it like once, maybe twice. But I wear it for whatever event or wherever I'm trying to go. Whenever I go on a trip, I buy all new outfits and I wear them just for that trip. And if not, they just be stocked up stairs, like with the tags on. And then I eventually wear them. But yeah, I buy shit for like what I'm going to do. I don't just buy stuff. But I'm just saying, when you look at Kane, Noma hasn't done anything for him besides get him a new wardrobe. Do I agree with Monet that it's not snitching if you tell that the motherfucker's dirty? Well, who are you telling that? Uh, if you tell the police that a cop is dirty, that's snitching. If you tell another dirty cop that a cop is dirty, that's not snitch. That's just in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're only snitching if you're telling, like, the police or authorities. You know what I mean? You can't. I mean, you can snitch to, like, your mom or your brother and shit. But, of course, that's the authority. So, like, if I if I'm working with you, say if I'm working for Noma and I go and tell Noma, Hey, these guys are trying to rob us. That's not snitching. That's like me being part of the organization. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's like they stealing from me. So I got to let Noma know. You know what I mean? Now, if I was to go tell, hey, Noma, uh, Effie is stealing from us. Yeah, I'd be snitching on Effie then. But, I mean, that just depends on how you taking it, Paul. But, you know what I mean? It, it just, it's all over the place, man. We're going to see Diddy snitching in a couple of weeks, though. <laughs> So Drew gets even. Drew goes over to uh he goes over to Kane's house and he's starting to go through text messages. Now I couldn't I, I'm I'm gonna go back and try to get a clear uh clearer picture because I couldn't really see and read these messages. You know one thing about me, I'm always gonna read these messages. So I'm gonna try to go back and get me a clearer uh screenshot and I'm gonna read these messages off and see what everybody is saying. But anyway, Drew breaks into the house. And he finds out that uh, Noma has a shipment going on because he hacked into Kane's computer. Well, he didn't really hack into it, just figured out the damn password. So he goes and tells Don Carter, hey, Don, look, look, listen up. Noma's about to make moves. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? And Don is saying, man, we already got something in, in play. 
Don't worry about it. I'm going to make sure that it happens. And we know what happens between that because he goes and talks to Noma at the end of the episode. He also knows that since there's a shipment coming, tell Nico to do the shipment. And he knows about Sterling Reynolds. He knows about that through Tariq. So that's how they were setting up the surveillance. And that's really the end of Drew. But we see that Drew has a bond with Don Carter. He's like, man, you my mentor. You like my pops now. And you know my prediction before the season starts. I'm going to go back and find those videos. You know I hate watching my old videos because I hate the sound of my voice. So I don't really go back and like watch my old videos. But you'll see, I was saying that Drew needed to just go ahead and snitch. That's the only way he could potentially have a chance to survive this season. And he's been with Don Carter. and He's been, shit, giving Don Carter all the information. Hey, man, no man, them about to move some product. Uh, my brother, a bitch-ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> my mama and she ain't got no work. What's up? What, what else can you do? Oh, don't worry about it, man. We'll, we'll make it happen. We will make it happen. Oh, man. What the hell is going on in Morocco right now? I mean, I got like three people down there, man. Am I supposed to book a flight to Morocco tomorrow? What the hell is going on? I need to get down there. That's on my list, but geez Louise. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm with y'all. The I don't know. I guess because it's only two episodes left is the last season. They were like, man, we can just send people on a wild goose chase with these storylines. The people ain't really gonna trip that much. I don't know. I don't the trailer for episode nine looks like it's going to pick back up. Of course, this is a build up, so we so so we've seen every direction that everyone's going. We know what their potential plays are going to be, and now they're going to act on it on nine, and then they'll finish it off in ten. It's just it it, it doesn't it doesn't seem real that book two is about to end. That was a fast four years. When you think about the OG power, that six years seemed like it lasted for a while. That six years seemed like it was 10 years. But this four years went by fast as hell. Maybe because we were in the house for the first two seasons. And then it's like after we got out, it's like, okay, that shit just went by fast. But this four years went by quick as hell. 